Snowfall from Flagstaff to Williams to Sedona to even North Scottsdale. And heavy rainfall across the valley. It's a lot of water in a short amount of time. We know that the Salt River system is going to be full. We're going to have some overage. Representative David Cook is paying close attention to the snowpack's effects on areas like Tonto Basin that's previously dealt with devastating flooding and fatal accidents because of it. This is new drone video of the area, putting a halt to work being done to build a bridge so people can safely cross. The construction company is not letting their people cross the creek until the county deems it safe to actually cross it at that water level. SRP says because of these storms, their reservoirs along the Verde River are nearing full capacity and they're going to start releasing water to create more capacity. The first water release since 2019. Flooding from the snowpack is one concern, the other is fire. Mountains and hiking trails in Arizona have never looked more beautiful, luscious and green from the rains, but that's a catch-22. You've got grass crops down there that is, you know, basically chest high, and the fuel loading in that grass crop is so dense that you're going to have some pretty uh, fast-moving, high-intensity fires. John Truitt is a fire management officer with AZ Forestry and says they're working with federal partners to thin trees and wetlands to make fire season more manageable. I'm trying to reduce that fuel load by 50, 60, 70 percent. So when fire does reach the communities, it drops down to the ground. And, and Truitt says the snowpack will make for a shorter wildfire season up north because it will melt into the soil and keep it wetter longer. But he expects wildfires to spark and spread fast around 2,000 feet elevation and below. That would include Phoenix and Tucson. As for Tonto Creek, Representative Cook says they are still on track to get that bridge built this fall. So that'll all be a good thing and we'll stay on top of it. Guys, I'll send it back to you. Brianna.